In this video, we'll be going over combination. So given two integers n and k, return all possible combinations of k numbers out of 1 to n. You may return the answers in any order. So in our first example, we have n is equal to 4. This means our available numbers are 1 to 4. So all our combinations have numbers from 1 to 4. And our k is equal to 2, which means each combination has two elements. And we can see all of the elements are in increasing order, and none of the elements is repeated twice in each of the combinations. Let's go over the dot process. We will be implementing a recursive backtracking approach. We are only allowed to have to pick elements or pick numbers from 1 to n. For each of the number x, after we have added x to our current current combination we will continue our search from x plus one this is because we do not want to have duplicate uh, duplicate numbers inside our combination and our combination should always be in increasing order after accounting for x we will want to backtrack our steps Backtrack our steps to find the next combination. This means removing the last elements, which in this case x, from our current combination. This will allow us to give space for the next number. Uh, let's go over the pseudocode. So let's validate the input parameter. If k is greater than and this means we cannot create any combination because our each combination requires more elements than our than the number of elements available. So we're going to return an empty list. Now we're going to create a list of lists, which we're going to call results to keep track of all combination. Then we're going to implement our recursive depth first search approach, uh, recursive backtracking approach. And then we ask that what elements, uh, what parameters do we need? It's going to be the current i, the current starting index, or the current number we're starting from. So it's initially one, because we are only allowed to pick elements or numbers from one to n. And then our second parameter is n, the input value, and k, the input value, and also current combination let's call it com so current combination and also a results so list of all combinations now we're gonna ask ourselves what's the base case so when k is equal to zero this means every, each time we add a elements to our current combination we're gonna decrement k when k is equal to zero this means our current combination has up to k elements then we're going to add a copy of com combination to results. Then we're going to return from the recursive call. Then in each of the recursive call, we're going to iterate through the elements from i to n, which is going to denote it as x. Now we're going to add x to our current combination. Then we're going to recursively find the rest of the combination. which means we're going to set i to x plus 1. This means our the next elements in our current combination is going to be always be greater. And then we're going to decrement the number of com uh, decrement the numbers of elements needed. So k decrement k to k minus 1. Then we're going to backtrack our steps, which means remove the last elements from combination. Then we can return the result. Let's go over the code. So let's, let's validate the input parameter. If k is greater than n, then we're going to return an empty list. Now we're going to create a list to keep track of our combinations, all possible combinations. Results is going to be array list. And then we're going to backtrack our steps to find all combinations, or recursive backtrack our steps to find all combinations. So initially, we start with element 1, n, k, and our current combination, and our results. Then we can return result after. 
Now let's implement our recursive backtracking approach. Our current starting elements, the current end, the input end, and the current k, and then the current combination, and our list of all combinations. And if k is equal to zero, this means we have found up to k elements for our current combination. We're going to add our current comp combination to our result. We want to add a copy, and we can return from the recursive call. And we're going to iterate through from starting from i to n. We're going to add x to our current combination. Then we're going to recursively find the rest of the combination, starting from x plus 1. And then we're going to decrement the number of no, decrement the number of elements needed. Then combination and the results. Then we're going to remove the last elements of our current combination to backtrack our steps for the next elements. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.